Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today I am going to discuss about table variables and their existence in TempDB. It's a common myth with some people that they think that table variables exist in system memory like other variables because they are named as variables but the actual thing is that they are just stored as a temporary table in TempDB database. And this I'm going to show you so let's go to SSMS. So first of all we'll see the existence of any table in TempDB database. Okay, so for this, I'll just query the information schema dot tables system view in TempDB database. You can see I'm having a prefix of TempDB database and then information schema dot tables. So let's see what it shows. So okay, so it shows that there is no table or any kind of temp table or uh, or anything is present in TempDB and it's empty. Okay, so let's go create a temp table. So the syntax to create a temp table is similar to a normal table. Uh, create table and it just require a hash temp table and the required columns. Then I would just insert into this temp table and put a value and insert a value one. And we'll just do a select star from this temp table. And I'm going to again check the existence of this temp table in information schema. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute this batch. Okay, so what this batch did, it created a temp table, inserted a value one, and it checked the existence of this temp table in tempdb. This shows that the table is created with this particular name. Okay, now let's go ahead and create a table variable. So creating of table variable is similar to a normal variable. So declare tab var, I'm giving this name as a table, and the column definition goes here. I'll do the similar thing. I'll insert a value into this table variable also. This time let's add two. And finally I'll do a select star from this table variable. And similar to above, I'll just inquire the temp db information schema dot table system catalog. Okay. So this will show us the existence of the table variable. Okay. Ex let's execute this batch. So here in this batch, as you can see, it shows two rows. First one is the temp table that was created in this batch and second one is the table variable that is created in this batch. So this proves that table variables are also a part of tempdb. They are created over here and their whole life cycle goes in the tempdb only. Okay. Now let's try to execute all these statements at once. Okay. I'll just uh, drop the temp table here so that we can execute the whole script again. I'll just go and execute the whole script okay so here you can see the first statement that is select the star from temp db dot information schema dot tables gave me nothing there is no temp table here initially the second batch of create temp table i'm creating a temp table then i'm inserting a value one and selecting that value one that is this and finally i am querying the information schema dot tables view and this time the table is created with this name a5 Okay, then in the second batch, I'm creating a table variable, inserting a value that is 2, which is shown here. And finally, I am querying the system catalog table that is information schema dot tables within the tempdb itself. And it gave me two records here. So first record is similar to this. You can see A5, A5 ending with this name. And second one is this. Right. So SQL Server, while creating temp tables, SQL Server uses the name that you provide plus it uh, suffixes some internal signature. But with table variables, SQL Server does not use the name that you provide here. It internally creates and specifies a hexadecimal kind of name as you can see here the second record. So I just want to tell you all folks, there should not be any kind of confusion between temp table and table variables. Both of them exist in tempdb and all the records that are inserted into these tables are inserted in tempdb and for their whole lifespan they reside in tempdb thank you for watching this video please let me know your comments thank you